You enter what you explore. You defeat your enemy. You continue your scouting and find an old stock room. You enter what you search the city and dis
you scout ahead to see if the road is safe, you notice a bear lying outside its lair. It looks really big. In fact, you have your doubts about it being an ordinary bear and not some kind of giant's pet. The hunters notice that the bear is badly wounded with a weapon sticking out of its side. Those who know about animals know that wounded beasts can be extremely dangerous and should be approached with great caution. barely escape with your
night falls over Thea, and restless souls of the damned seek out the living in envy and anger. You can almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths. Thanks to the Lapiduk, your people sleep well this night. Before you is a group of black wolves attacking something. You see that the child is clearly pre You send a s You won. It was not easy, but both cat and child are f
an easy place to grow up in, but alas, grow up we must. One of your children has matured into a young adult and is ready to join. Becoming an adult is an important...
as you make your way through the terrain, your herbalist spots an your herbalist, those with knowledge of After a tough fight, you finally clear the area of those nasty spiders. Within their lair, you discover some more herbs as well as body. Find the place imprinted in your minds by the professors. It is an old tower that seems to reach the very skies. Its surface is pure ivory, yet strangely shimmering as the sun rays hit its smooth surface. As you move closer, you see a balcony that looks unsettlingly like a large skeletal hand, and in its palm there stands a tall, hooded man, while a young girl cowers behind him. The man speaks in a clattering, hard voice. Halt! Who goes? Restoring power to your gods, a grand task indeed. The Oracle knows much, that much is true. And how exactly did you find your way here? The Grand University. I should have known they will try to meddle again. Um, death was not enough for those homicidal traitors. So what did they want you to find out this time? How to drain all water from our soil? Or perhaps they've decided that air is really not necessary for human life. My apologies, they have wronged this young girl beyond reason, and the very mention of their existence still pains me. These so-called scholars took it upon themselves to judge what means justify the end. They knew they could never achieve their goals without magic, the hypocrites. And so they discovered Ileana as a mere child. She had an amazing gift of premonition, but more than that, she was also pure-hearted and devout to the Pantheon. As such, her link to the gods was almost direct. In fact, it is said that her father may be Perrin himself, something about his lightning striking Ileana's mother at night. Anyway, the scholars took her, imprisoned her, and drained her power to the very limits. And worse yet, all this to destroy her beloved gods. Indeed, this is why I have taken stewardship of her, so that in time, perhaps she may regain enough strength to live on her own. And if not, I can at least try to shield her from those who would misuse her power. Let us move on. What do you seek? Ileana holds answers to many questions, yes. But are you worthy of receiving them? And more importantly, are you willing to face your fate in order to learn your future? I sense your connection to your gods and their blessing fresh upon your souls. Thus, I judge you worthy of the attempt. However, the Oracle can only guide you to find answers. You may need to face trials to receive what you seek, and these may prove difficult, if not lethal. You say you seek answers to restore the power taken from your gods. The tests will likely take the form of what you seek. Thus, you may face a shadow of the deity you serve, or perhaps even a true avatar. But whether it is combat they will seek, I do not know. I suppose much depends on your deity. The girl, 
who stood silent and motionless throughout your encounter, steps out from behind her protector and spreads her arms out. The tower opens up before you, revealing a dark chamber inside. The oracle silently gestures for you to enter. As you approach, you have a strange sensation, as if you're about to face yourself in there. You enter the ivory tower, and as you step through the threshold, you find yourself standing on a burnt-out plain, filled with grey, ash and red fire particles in the air. In the distance, you see a withering stump of a massive tree, hollowed, dry and blackened from the flames. You see a green snake coiled around the roots, and you see a great, foreboding bear sitting and staring sadly into the empty skies. You hear cries of souls unable to rest as they try to enter the underworld gates. You feel the presence of Veles before you. The bear sees you, and his eyes turn red with anger as he stands on his two hind legs and roars. changes into an avatar of Veles himself, and he gestures you to rise up. Well said, my children, well said. We must indeed work together to undo what befell Thea and my pantheon. There is an ancient elven wanderer that survived the massacre concocted by those vile humans at the university. You must seek him out and find a way for him to give me his immortal life force. Be careful, the poor soul is all but madness. I will guide you and whisper a plan into your ears when the time comes. Trickery may be the only way to achieve this goal safely. Now go, seek him out. and indeed there is the strange box. There is a sign scribbled above the box. It reads, if you're clever, come whenever. If you're not, take a shot. If you come, bring some rum and we'll all have fun. It seems that something, lucky for you, some of your party know their stuff about engineering. They inform you that this is some goblin contraption and that they... the strange machine puffs and shakes as if it were about to fall into pieces before you. There is a bubbling sound from inside, and steam comes out in huge puffs. Then finally, a ball comes out of one of the tubes and lands in the basket. 
When you pick it up, it's a parchment. Well done, stranger. Now come and join the party at the crag. Map included. Please don't bring trouble. Only fun people accepted. There is indeed a map drawn at the bottom.